Hi everyone, uh, this is Connor, and here's my character Justinius. He is, uh, I like him, he's really cool. And I'm gonna do the underworld with Asuna. Um, gonna wave to her real quick. <laughs> Oh, I got a thing on the screen not working right. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Asuna. Kama. It's me, Connor, again. Okay, so, um, I guess we gotta use the thing and- Oh! Right here! Underworld Gate! Man. This is exciting! I haven't been here before. And I think I'm dressed for the part! <laughs> wait, I'm supposed to- Oh, wait! I have to do the quest. Here we go. Now I can talk to Boast. <laughs> Welcome to the Underworld, Justinius. Underworld? Am I? <laughs> no, you're not dead. Not yet, anyway. This cavern is a place where the mortal world and a section of the underworld overlap, like two maps laying atop one another. It's a gateway that Dage the Evil uses to send his undead legion to the land of the living. You seem to know a lot about it. I do. My name is Boast the Chronicler. Little is known about Dage the Evil, his past, his goals, the strength of his servants. As a chronicler, I am here to discover and record what I can about him and his past. I have been here for a long time already, but I have learned so little. Sadly, I'm no hero. I am strong enough to get what you need, but you will need to tell me what I'm looking for. I hoped you would say that. It won't be easy, but I believe that you can do it. There are chapters of a journal scattered around the cavern. I've seen them, and I know they hold clues to Dage's past. I also know that some of the undead creatures here hold pieces of the undead warrior armor. They can be assembled to tell us even more. I will send you out for the easier journal chapters and pieces of the armor first. Return as soon as you find one of them. I will. Okay, so now I have to get a chest plate from Osa Magnus. Um, let's see, okay, she's with me, and, um, oh, let's see how strong these guys are. Oh yeah, I got the, um, cross skill for, <laughs> I got the cross skill for the, uh, guardian class. It's really cool. It, it hits really hard. Um. I'm excited to try to do Paladin, but I think, um, oh, <laughs> oh why is it not, oh, is it dead already? Did I not, I didn't get it, did I? Oh, wait, it says quest ready for turning. Wait, this one, this here? I think so. <laughs> okay, so. Alright, so now I have to get a chapter. Now where do I find the chapter? A little arrow will tell me. A hundred paces this way. Uh, I think paces. I don't really know how much their unit of measurement for distance is. Oh. Is it over here? Oh. Brian says we should kill this thing. I don't know why. <laughs> he said he might drop something? I don't know what he's gonna drop. Oh. Wow. Oh, there's a cloak. That's cool. Oh, and there's another one. Or is that the same one? Um, okay. Where? I don't know where I'm going. Where is the chapter? 
Oh, I see the sparkly. And it's over there. There we go. I got the first chapter. Now, I need to go... Oh. Where am I going? I need to give it to Vokes. I'm not sure how to get to him, because I didn't really keep track of where I am. <laughs> um. Oh, oh, I see. That's where I am. Oh, I saw that guy over in, um, because I just did a lot of Darkovia Forest, and, um, it was fun. I might do a thing on Darkovia Castle in a video, but I don't know. Okay, here is the first chapter. I've never seen this language before. It's Undertongue, a language that's only spoken in the underworld. Here, I will translate for you. Once there was a warrior who was without equal. He traveled lore for years, fighting in one army and leading another. But after a long life of victory after victory, he sought the sweet embrace of death and the afterlife promised to his people's strongest fighters. I never even thought of Dave as being a mortal once. He wanted to die? He wanted his reward. This was a great start but I hope the other chapters will tell us more. Next, you need to recover the undead warrior gloves and boots from a twisted skeletal spider known as the Legion Arachnus. I'll come back once I have them. Okay, let's go fight a spider. Yeah. Is awesome? Awesome is right there? Yay! <laughs> I really like playing with her. She's a lot of fun. Um, I'm having trouble with my touch screen, but I think it'll work. Oh, that must be the spider. Oh, <laughs> someone's pet tree was there. Oh, wait. Oh, the spider's already gone. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see, so now I go talk to Vost again. And he's probably gonna want me to get another piece of a book. I like books. Books are fun. And this one looks like it's gonna be interesting. Okay, I need to get the ch second chapter. Um, oh, it looks like it's pretty close. Oh, I see a golden light. <laughs> this one was much easier to find than the other one. Hey, is Austin there with me? I don't know where she is. Oh, there she is. <laughs> He turned into someone riding a big wolf. Okay. I've got the next chapter for you both. Let's see what it says. Knowing that death would only come for him if he died in combat, Dage began to take on ever greater challenges. Until finally, he did battle with a Lich, an undead wizard of unthinkable power. Dage was again victorious, but the Lick, knowing Dage's heart cursed, knowing Dage's heart, cursed the warrior with eternal unlife so that he could never reach his final goal. Oh, that's so mean. That is really mean. So now we know how he became undead. With the Lick destroyed, there is very little chance that Dage could ever undo the curse set upon him. The undead warrior's shoulders are what you should gather next. You'll find them in possession of an abomination called the Legion Corpus. Alright. So now I gotta go get those. Oh! <laughs> Austin had turned into a skeleton. Or no, that's not. There we go. She's, she's still riding the wolf. <laughs> I saw her as a skeleton wearing the shorts earlier. Those are the surf and skull shorts. I hope I can get those when, when they become available. Because they look they look cool. I, I like them. I don't know if I'd actually wear them though. At least not without a shirt. Um, is that what, what is that? Is that what the Legion Corpus is? No. Wait. No, that's... Oh, yes. It says Legion Corpus right there. So we gotta wait for it to... 
We gotta wait for it to come back so we can fight it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Brian says you have to get these guys fast because other people kill them and then they're not there for you to kill anymore. Um, oh, I just walked through an ogre. Okay, so, and there's the Legion of Ragnus again, but I don't need to fight it right now. I need to go talk the most and then look for another piece of a book. Let's see, um... Okay. Now I need to get the third chapter. I hope it's easy to find. It looks like it's pretty close. Oh, yeah, it's really close. Must be on top of that skull. Oh, next to it. <laughs> okay. So there's that. Oh, <laughs> I got stuck. <laughs> um, let's see. So we're about to talk to Vost again. Here's the third chapter. Thank you, Justinius. Having his one goal forever taken from him, Dage grew more frustrated and desolate. That means alone or lonely, I think. The undead warrior withdrew further and further from his own humanity. That sounds dangerous. Finally, at the height of his worldly power, Archfiend approached him. For centuries, Dage fought as one of the mightiest generals in this army of evil, gaining all the power promised by service to the Archfiend. So Dage served this Archfiend? Yes, as a servant of the Archfiend, Dage would have gained even more power than he already had. This raises even more questions. You will have to recover the next chapter, but first, the undead warrior helmet. Deep in the cavern, there is a legion warfield. If you are able to best it, you will recover the undead warrior helm. I'm on my way. Oh, Asana said BRB, so I'm sure she'll be around. Um, maybe I should go do that thing though. I don't want her to have to wait around for me, and she because we're in a um we're in a party, so she can always teleport to wherever I am. Um, and I have a hard time finding my way around this place, so it, it might actually be good for me to figure out where I'm going first. <laughs> Ryan says I should have turned into a bird, <laughs> so I could, um, so I could get there faster. Oh, that's a war fiend. I know what those look like. Oh, it's already dead. I guess that's what Brian was talking about when he said they die fast. Oh, let's see. Oh, well, there's Asana. And, um... I guess we just gotta wait a second. Oh, I gotta let the dog in. Okay, I'm back. Well, I was hoping the war fiend would be back too. Let's see, it's awesome. Yeah, Austin is right there. Oh, well, I was gonna wave to her, but I should probably fight this thing before it gets killed again. <laughs> okay, so we got the undead warrior helm now. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I should turn into a bird for this next part, make it a little fast. Oh, what is that? Ravager of the Legion? You know what? I'm, I'm going to talk to him later so I can find out what, what's up with that. 
Brian says that's new. At least to him. He's watching me do this so that if I get stuck, he can help me. But he's not telling me everything. So that's good. I don't like it when he tells me everything. Okay. I got the helm. Now I need to get the fourth chapter. Seems like it's a little further than the other one, but it's not too far. Oh, I see a light. There it is. Okay. So I got the chapter. I just need to find my way back to Vost. That's not the right direction. <laughs> it's really easy to get lost here. At least for me it is. Oh, I think I know where I am now. <laughs> Most. Oh, I'm in combat? Why am I in combat? Okay. I found the fourth chapter of the journal. Excellent. Let's see what it says. With his power, Dage's pride also grew. He led his loyal undead legion in a revolt, trying to take the power of the Archfiend for himself. The revolt failed, and Dage's undead legion was decimated. And his prize, the Archfiend claimed. Oh, as his prize, the Archfiend claimed a portion of Dage's withered soul to better control his apprentice. He used it to bind Dage to the underworld for all time. That's that sucks. Not even that prison could contain Dage's power, and over the century, he claimed a section of the underworld for himself. I wonder if the Archfiend still has that piece of Dage's soul. Perhaps we will find out. Only one chapter remains, but before you can find it, reclaim the undead warrior sword and we can unlock this armor's secrets. It is jealously guarded by the greatest creature in this cavern, a huge undead dragon called the Legion Dracos. I will find it. Okay, so, and Austin has said Dracos is here, so, oh, she's right there now. <laughs> I was gonna teleport to her. <laughs> Alright, so let's go. Let's see, uh, my fibromyalgia is really kicking my ass right now. And that sucks. Oh wait, is there a way over there from here? No, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, here we go, there's a dragon. Oh, there's dragon bones. <laughs> Alright. Let's kick his booty. Did I get anything? Banded Legion Pauldrons. Oh, those are the bright blue. Right? What do they look like? Oh, I like those. I will have to look at those later. Um, okay. Wow. So now I need to turn that in. Um. And now I'm a bird again, so it'll go faster. I'm excited, because I remember Brian showed me some of his memories about fighting the undead warrior, and how it was fun to collect all the armor pieces from him. And it took a while, but it was a lot of fun. And then when you get the armor pieces, they come in handy because you can um, upgrade them or something like that, and then they glow blue. Okay. The sword. Oh, so now we do that that part. Um, okay, I got all the pieces of the armor, comma, and now I need to go to the undead warrior chamber.
Asuna is great. She's really helping this go a lot faster than it would have. And I don't want my video to be too long. And it's already over 20 minutes. Um, okay. Um, oh, this way? <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Ryan can be funny sometimes. Okay, so now we're in the soul chamber. And I guess Ryan says there's a cutscene. Oh wow, what is this? Oh, that must be the undead warrior. I didn't know he could fly. That's kind of cool. Oh, okay. He says, I have been summoned. Uh, sorry? <laughs> I was looking for the last chapter of a journal. Have you seen it? I hold the final chapter. If you want it, defeat me and claim it. Oh, crap. I gotta fight him. <laughs> I think I can do this, though. I'm, I'm level 21 now. Um, because I finished, I finished Ashfall, and I did Darkovia Forest, so, uh, so I think it'll be okay. Oh, wow, I'm kicking his butt. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, wow. He's big. Really big. Holy crap. Who is that? Oh, really? Brian says that's stage. Oh, yep, it is. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, that's all he's going to say to me? Not even a hello, how are ya? <laughs> oh, okay. Well... I, I finished that. I'll go back to Asuna. Oh. <laughs> Wait, where is she? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I beat the undead warrior and we're almost done with the video. I... I saw Dage. He was waiting for you in the soul chamber. Oh, that's not a question. He is telling me. Dage was waiting for me. <laughs> you don't sound surprised, Boast. Let me translate the final chapter of the journal. Now, Dage the Evil sits on his throne of skulls, collecting the mightiest souls he can find to empower him and serve in his undead legion. Souls that he will one day use to wage a full-scale war on the Archfiend and his forces. Souls seasoned by experience and combat. Souls like yours, hero. And souls like mine. Well done, just Oh! He says, well done, Justinius. And then he's got, like, a skull for a face. That's surprising. <laughs> oh, see, he's surprised, too. <laughs> this whole thing was a setup from the moment I walked in, wasn't it? Some kind of a test? You have passed our trial, and my master Dage has found your soul worthy of joining his undead legion. He will come for you, one day. Soon. <laughs> no, I'm ready now. Justinius, the master will tell you when you are ready. I'm ready now, and Dage knows it. I'm back. Oh, I'm going back into the soul chamber and tell him I'm ready to take my place in his legion. Oh, I've got to confront Dage. <laughs> Let's see. Um, let's um, enjoy. And wait. And top rock. <laughs> top rock, I think, is really my favorite. Look at that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, now I need to go to, oh, now I need to go to the, the um, the soul chamber, or the, is that, whatever it was called, the something chamber. 
Yes, I am getting help flying there because Brian doesn't want me to take forever <laughs> figuring it out. <laughs> okay, so now I'm back in here. Oh! So you see me and those familiar feet. <laughs> Dage. I have fought many battles. I have the strength. I am ready to take my place in the Undead Legion. You are not ready. What? Of course I am. I've overcome every trial thrown at me. My soul is worthy. Not yet. Am? You know that I am. You came to me, not the other way around. I passed your stupid tests. It's you who isn't ready for me. Whoa, that's... <laughs> that's pretty confident. <laughs> I just got smacked. Know your place. Uh, I... Speak to Lost. We are done for now. <laughs> I like him. He's pretty funny. <laughs> Okay, so now I need to go back to Vos. Oh. <laughs> I wonder where Asana is. Um, if she's at the front. Oh, yay! <laughs> now I can talk to Vos again. Well? He told me I wasn't ready, and I kind of uh, lost my cool. But I don't get it. I passed his test. I was found worthy. You even said so. Oh, I missed something. <sighs> However, the master is looking for far more than souls who can pass a simple trial. Being worthy simply means you are fit to join, not to take your place in the ranks. Dage is preparing an army for the eventual war against the Archfiend. This is just the beginning of your training. I see, so I have a long road ahead of me. What is my next step, Chronicler? Now is the time of the solar eclipse. <laughs> During this time, the master holds challenges in his arena of souls. Prove that you will be of value to the master in the coming war. Now is the time for you to show what you are willing to do, willing to sacrifice, to wear legion armor. Go to the arena of souls, demonstrate your commitment before the master. Earn the right to craft and wear your own powerful Legion Heretic armor. I will. <laughs> this is cool. It says the Master uses his Arena of Souls to train his Undead Legion. Be warned. He will push you well beyond your breaking point and ask the impossible of you. He has no pity. <laughs> okay. So. Oh. Does that mean I'm done? I think I'm done for now. And I will look at the Arena of Souls on my own. But for now... Um... Oh, hey! <laughs> There's Asuna! <laughs> for now... <laughs> uh, it's time to go! And, um... So guys, have lots of fun with whatever you do. And always be safe, because... You know, sometimes... Things are difficult. But you can always overcome difficulty. If you're careful and you persevere. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hi everybody, this is Connor again. I was trying to figure out when I edited this video, why did my voice go so deep? And then I realized it's because Brian was taking over a lot to try to shield me from the fibromyalgia pain. And that's something I thought was really cool. Because not only is he a cool big brother like that, but then like, if you study um, dissociated identities, then maybe you can look into that. Like, how one identity can take over a little bit to shield the, the one that's active. 
from feeling as much pain. I, I just thought that was really cool. And I don't know if that's something that people want to learn about. Um, okay, well, I will talk to you guys later. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.